Hi everybody, this is Alice, Bejeweled Hedgehog, and this is Cast Off Tuesday on Wednesday night. Okay, um, I don't have a whole lot to show this week, um, hmm. but what I do have, uh, let's get started with. Last week I made a, a cowl for myself, a very, very big, thick, warm cowl, and I really liked it. Um, it was made out of Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, which is actually a super bulky. I thought it was a bulky. And so this week I have another cow. It's made by the same, same pattern I used last time. Only this cow is actual bulky yarn, number five yarn. And um, I think it came out a lot better in terms of size. Let me put it on. So when it's just down as a cowl, it's a lot lighter in weight. This is Knit Picks Brava Acrylic. Brava is new to Knit Picks. They've never carried acrylics before. And when I found out that they did, I just had to give them a try and see what they were like. And um, it, it has the kind of the look and feel of like Vanna's Choice or Impeccable but it is very very soft it's as kind of as soft as the um simply soft by karen but it's not shiny so it's very interesting it's it's um soft but not shiny if that makes any sense and in terms of being a bulky i would say it's a little bit on the on the light side for a bulky it's definitely a little bit thinner than Burnett softy chunky um so that was like a little mini yarn review and this is the cow again you can pull it up over your head make it into a hood and i really like this one um Somehow my camera is making it look like more of a royal blue or cobalt blue. It's actually a much darker blue, co closer to a navy. And then I had some yarn left over, and what I did was I made another cowl. I used a shell pattern this time, um, just a shell stitch. Let's get this held up here. And I ran out of yarn. I didn't have enough to go all the way around, so I added some white Bernat, that's softy chunky. And this cowl can either be one of these very, very thick cowls, uh, you know, that comes up and really keeps you warm, or you can fold it down. And I really like the way it looks folded down. Um, again, there's really no pattern for this. This was just me playing around with a stitch, stitch dictionary, and uh, here. Anyway, that should give you an idea. And I kind of like the, the white, even though it was not intentional. It, it was added um, to make the cowl big enough to wear. Kind of reminds me of a wave, you know, and then this is sort of the froth at the crest. So I'm very pleased with how that turned out also. Um, then again, I was just kind of, this week, I sort of had fiber ADD, and it was really hard for me to focus on one big project, so I love stitch dictionaries, and I had the new yarn that I wanted to try out, so I basically kept picking up the stitch dictionary and just messing around and making a bunch of scarves that are going to go to charity with different stitches, and this one, I think, is... It's called a linked double crochet. It's not, it looks very, very ribbed. Let's get this up closer. Uh, it comes out ribbed, but really what you do is you yarn over and you go into the side of the stitch you just made, and then you go in and do your, your double crochet. And I actually did it wrong. You were supposed to go into the top bar and I went into the lower bar. So this, I guess, is sort of Alice's accidental variation on a linked double crochet. But I like the way it turned out. It just made this fun, bright red scarf. And I went ahead and I stuck a little seashell on it. I don't really have any buttons because I don't use them very often. So I stuck a little seashell on it 
to help keep it closed. There we go. It's like a little neck warmer kind of a cowl. And now it is, of course, stuck on my neck. There we go. Okay, and this is another scarf. Um, it's kind of a lacy, latticey pattern. And let me hold this up closer. And this is really cool. Uh, I believe it's this stitch was called sidebar. And you do it by doing a double crochet and skipping a space and then doing the next double crochet around the post of the one you previously made. And this one, I made a longer scarf this time. And again, this is a very nice, lightweight, fun yarn. Okay, this is a cowl. No, I'm sorry, I didn't sew it shut. I was going to, but I didn't. And just lightweight yarn, and I did um, a bunch of different stitches in here to kind of give it a fun textured look. So here it is. And red, I think, is a great color to have for Valentine's Day. Um, still with the Brava yarn, I made a little cowl, and here it is. This is um, yet another shell stitch, and I do not remember exactly what this one is called. And it's coming out kind of a washed out lemony color. My camera is doing very odd things. Uh, it's coming out a very washed out lemony color, but it's not. It's a warm, rich gold, and I am frustrated with this camera. Okay, here we go. I made a little tab, and you pull the little tab through, and you have a little scarf, neck warmer thingy, and it's coming out all crooked. There we go. I like it. It's like a little collar. It's cute. I think somebody will like it. Okay, this is a cowl. Um, this is a double crochet wrap stitch. And it's three double crochet. Every time I get close, it seems to not want to focus properly, so I will stay back here. Look at that. Oh, this camera is definitely getting on my bad side. Okay. Um, you do three double crochet and then you, it's kind of like a cross stitch, three double crochet and then you wrap the fourth around the three you just made. And there we go and I seem to be in focus in perfect color at the moment. I made a little slouchy beanie to go with it, there I go again, um, with just one little row of um, cross stitches to give it a little bit of interest. And there it is. And there's kind of the back. Okay, and then the final scarf. Now this is impeccable loops and threads. This is not a bulky yarn. This is a standard worsted weight yarn. And uh, I hope I can get the camera to focus when I get it close up. This is a fun stitch from one of the stitch dictionaries and it's called Falling Leaves. And I think it would look great in a green. I think it would look really great in a variegated, you know, green. Um, I just did it in this standard beige color. It's a big, wide, long scarf. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that is it for this week. Um, I'm thinking about doing a book review, well, book reviews of all my stitch dictionaries because I really do love um, playing with different stitches. Oh, the other thing about this scarf is the, you know, this is the pattern side right here, but the reverse side looks kind of cool too. It's kind of a waffly, um, you know, shape to it. So you could almost consider this reversible. Um, okay. Well, hopefully I will be putting up more videos and better videos. This is kind of an experimental stage one. I have a new computer, much newer, bigger, faster. The old one was probably about six years old. 
Um, I was still using uh, XP as my operating system. I'm now on Windows 7. And aside from the fact that the little webcam is still not behaving quite the way it should, um, I am hoping everything will go a lot faster and a lot smoother. My old video, my old computer did not even have a webcam built into it. This one does. This one has that little dot thingy right kind of in the frame around the, the screen. So I could conceivably use that. Um, I had just bought one of these little separate ones and I figured since I paid for it and it's presumably better than the built-in ones, I would use it. But if it does not behave, its little life is very limited because now it has, there's an alternative to it. So anyway, thank you very, very much for watching my video. And please uh, watch and subscribe to everyone in the Cast Off crew. I will post all their information uh, down below. Um, they are absolutely wonderful. I watch all their videos and am continually inspired by them. Um, so, sorry, it's kind of late and I am tired. Uh, that's it for me. Have a very good night and uh, I will see you soon.